Hey guys, this is Workshop Junkies and today I'm going to be building an adjustable lumber rack for my small workshop. Every woodworking shop requires some form of lumber or wood storage, but it becomes particularly tricky in small workshops like mine because they take up quite a bit of space. That's why I've been putting it off until now. Now, in an effort to not sacrifice too much space, I want to install my rack in a way that will accommodate less likely to be used pieces more densely and as high as possible. The rest of the lumber will be accommodated on height adjustable cantilevers. The reason for the height adjustment will be explained when I get to it. The rack then needs to be installed high enough to accommodate a full sheet of plywood underneath. Now I've designed the rack to only require a single sheet of 18mm or 3 quarter inch plywood. So to get started I'm going to cut this up into all the components that I will be assembling the rack from. Okay guys, so these are all the sized up components that I am going to assemble to form my rack. There are a few smaller pieces that I still need to do, but I am going to be cutting them from the off cuts of the sheet of plywood, so I didn't really add them to my cutting list. So, the first component is the uprights that I am going to be fixing to the wall, and they will be supporting the cantilevers and also a large portion of the overhead storage. For the uprights I layer two pieces of plywood together to give me additional strength and also to give me a large enough surface to fix the upright to the wall. Before I can do that however I need to add some holes along the length here which is going to be part of the height adjustment feature.
Right, so these are the uprights that are going to be installed against the wall like this. Five in total to give me the ability to store up to a three meter plank comfortably. As I mentioned, I added these holes for the height adjustment and then also chamfered the holes, but this is more for cosmetic reasons. I then also added these holes to allow me to fix it to the wall. As you can see, the wall's not 100% flat, so I might need to add some packing or spaces at the back, but we will see how it goes. As I mentioned, besides the cantilevers, I also want to have an overhead storage to store some of my less likely to be used pieces of wood. It's going to be harder to reach, but it's going to be well out of my way. Now, I want to do this in two tiers. One to accommodate a full length plank across the width of the rack, and a second tier to accommodate shorter pieces of wood along its depth. This is going to allow me to utilize the space between the roof beams as well. So that's about it for the overhead storage, the only thing left to do is to fix it to the roof beams because it's obviously not secured just yet. Now to do that I'm going to use these little wooden triangles I once again made by gluing two sheets of plywood together. All I did then was drill these holes and this will now allow me to fix it to the overhead storage and fix the overhead storage to the roof beam. This is not the primary carrier, I'm also going to be adding galvanized steel brackets as soon as I get around to the hardware store to go and buy them. Okay guys, so that's it for the overhead storage for now. It seems strong enough and it will be even stronger when I add the galvanized supports or the steel bracket supports. So now I can jump on the height adjustable cantilevers, which is going to start with me adding these pieces on the side of the uprights to form a slide for the height adjustable cantilever. The only real preparation beyond cutting these pieces to size was adding these little holes here. So I'm going to glue and add some screws for additional strength. The next step is going to be to assemble the cantilevers which are going to be separate units and they are going to slide over this rail to the desired height and the height will be set by inserting a pipe or a dowel or something like that into the holes that I drilled in the uprights.
Okay, so this is pretty much what the cantilever is going to look like. I still want to add a piece in the front here, but for now I just left it off so I could show what the inside is going to look like. Now, before I get to why I want this to be height adjustable, I quickly want to touch on how I plan on achieving the adjustability. The idea is that the cantilever can move freely up and down the upright or even be completely removed. By adding weight to the cantilever, it would lock itself in place. As for the dowel, it is not so much to carry any weight, but instead to act as a safety feature and also to act as a set point, allowing me to level all the cantilevers that are installed on the same tier. As to why the rack is height adjustable, I'm trying to make the absolute most of a small shop, which means that I try to add a degree of versatility to all my projects. By making the rack height adjustable means I can store my stock as high as possible, while keeping this space open to move around. I can then, as my stock increases or decreases, add tiers accordingly. This means that I only have to sacrifice this space when it is absolutely necessary. My objective for this project was to build it using a single sheet of plywood and though I managed to do it, I can't help but feel that the overhead storage can be beefed up a bit. It would have been a lot simpler if my roof beams were located closer to each other, allowing me to add additional suspension points. For now however, it will have to do. I will keep brainstorming ideas and upgrades for this project but in the meantime, if you guys have anything to add, any ideas with regards to the project, feel free to drop a comment down below. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it and you are not a subscriber yet, remember to do so now. As always, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Cheers.